Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl McColgan, founder of Heal, Nourish, Grow, coming to you today from my kitchen to share with you my latest shipment that I got from Dry Farm Wines. If you've been around my channel before, you know that I've been drinking Dry Farm Wines for years. I absolutely love their product. It's tested each bottle to be free of all kinds of bad stuff that you don't want to be drinking, and it's under one gram of sugar in the entire bottle. Today, I actually talked to the founder of Dry Farm Wines for my new podcast. Hasn't launched yet, but be on the lookout for that. It's called Keto for Life and basically giving you all the tips on how to make a low carb life sustainable for the long term to benefit your health and to help you look and feel your best. Um, but anyway, it was an awesome conversation with him. He is a long time biohacker as well as wine enthusiast. And we had a very interesting conversation today. But now I wanna share with you the kinds of wines that I get in my shipment. They're all dry farmed, they're all toxin free, tested, all of that, like I said, and absolutely delicious. I've never had a bad wine from them. And just in case you ever did, they actually have a happiness guarantee. So anyway, you can always use my link to get an extra bottle for a penny and that's dryfarmwines.com slash heal nourish grow. Um, but here we go. In the meantime, I'm going to share with you what I got so you have an idea of what kinds of wines you might get when you buy from Dry Farm Wines. So the first one I'm pulling out here is a Blau Frankish, which I have had many times before. Absolutely love this varietal. It's out of Austria. Next one, we have Domaine du Pinois. I'm thinking this is French, it is. <clears throat> it is a Gamay 100% and looks just like that. This one is called Mealy, very interesting uh, bottle here. It is from, where is, oh, South Africa. That's, I think that's the first time I've ever seen a South African wine from Dry Farm Wines, but that's really cool. Um, the varietal on this one is 100% Sin Salt. Never heard of that. Um, this one has only 0.4 grams of sugar per liter. So that's even, that would be a bigger bottle than this if this was an entire liter. And this one has 11% alcohol. <clears throat> it's another thing that Dry Farm Wines does that's very interesting is they actually test each bottle of wine for how much percent of alcohol it has in it because in the US it's not required to be accurate on the label so they can say a wine has 12 and a half percent for example but it could really be anywhere from 10 percent to 15 which is crazy um, so whenever they have the winemakers that they work with with dry farm wines they actually test for the alcohol level as well this one is Domaine de Zan and it's got two little cute donkeys on the front. I'm thinking this one is French just based on the name and it's hard to find that on the back of this label. I do have my glasses right here so I might end up putting those on to help me a little bit but we don't have to be super particular right. So this is 100% Pinot Noir. This is from the Alsace region in France. That one will be I'll be very excited to try. And this next one is called Le Fif Noir. Again, I'm thinking French. It is, it's from Anjou. And finally, this is a very cute little um, photo on this one too. It's got like a little ground, not a groundhog, a wild pig or something like that. Uh, this one is, okay, gotta get out the glasses because this one's very small. Okay, I can just see just from the language that it's German and it's called a Bauer Port Portugieser. And 12%, actually it's Austrian, but you know, Austria, Germany, right together. It was written in German, that's why I thought it was German. Um, this one is 100% Gamay from the Beaujolais region in France. That should be awesome. This one's a Zweitgelt. I've also had this one before. It's from Austria, love this varietal. It's 100% Zweitgelt grape. And finally, we're almost to the end here. This is another Zweitgelt, so that would be from Austria. And this is the, I like how this one says, a philosophy of honest 
wine on it. This one is from South Africa. I think this is new for them because I never remember getting South African wines from them before. Uh, but this one is a blend. It's 36% Syrah, 35% Mordev, and some Viognier, and two other wines that I can't pronounce and don't know what they are. But that will be fun to try a new varietal that I've never had before. And then this one looks familiar. This one is French. Uh, this is from the Loire region. Loire region in general, I've actually heard Todd say this on previous interviews that uh, Loire region is well known for being a lower sugar wines in general. So if you can't get dry farm wines for some reason, or you're at a restaurant and you want to make sure that you're getting a lower sugar wine, then uh, Loire Valley is a good varietal to look for. Um, anything from Loire Valley. It's got several different kinds of grapes that they grow there. I have a second box <laughs> from them. This could be the exact same wines. Um, I actually think I messed up and somehow like got a double shipment of, because normally I just get 12 bottles at a time. So this could be a dupe or it could be something completely different, but let's just check it out here because I might have some other things to share with you. So, um, no, it's actually the exact same thing, which is cool because that way um, we'll get to taste a couple side by side and then if we really like it, we'll have you know, another bottle to enjoy some other time. But the other thing is if you order from them and you found a wine that you love, say this South African red is like just your jam and you absolutely love it, all you have to do is email them and they can actually get you a whole case or 36 or however many you want, you can get extra. So all of these, um, you know, whenever we find one that we really love, then we just reach out to Dry Farm Wines and we can purchase an entire case. So anyway, hopefully that was helpful to give you an idea of what types of wines they carry. They're almost exclusively, they don't actually even carry any American wines because no American wines meet their purity standard, which is very interesting. So if you wanna learn more about what they test for, about their wines, about what kinds of things you can get, they actually have a cool um, rosé collection coming out very soon. Uh, but just go to dryfarmwines.com slash heal, nourish, grow. That's where you'll get your extra bottle for a penny. And then if you go from there and just browse around their site, you can find all the information about what they test for, uh, what kind of purity standards they have, what their mission statement is. Um, I've been privileged to be in contact with several people from their company before because we actually um, also use them to send my husband's clients some Christmas gifts occasionally. And um, they've always just been like super helpful and very easy to work with. So I love supporting their company. I love what they stand for. And be on the lookout for that interview with Todd. It'll be here on my YouTube channel with the video and it'll also be available as an audio podcast. Um, so that's coming soon. You can always pop over to healnourishgrow.com and sign up to get on the waiting list or on the information list so that you'll know when the podcast is finally live. So again, Cheryl McCulgan, founder of Heal Nourish Grow. It's been lovely chatting with you today and hope you can enjoy some dry farm wines for yourself.